That's Ooh. interesting. Ooh. Oh, I think that's really interesting, that one, personally. Yeah, yeah. do you want to go for that, that one? one? One of those two, which well, one? Well, you can maybe combine. Yeah. yeah, okay, do you want to combine them and say them in one? Okay. Okay. So you gave the phone to Harry? You left. You told me to go. You told me to get the hell out of here. No, I didn't. I don't want this to be your fault! So the film deals with some issues surrounding animal welfare. Uh, what did you learn from these and also how did that affect setting the drama within a rural environment? Um, great question. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it was really important um, that this story was in a, a rural environment. It was on a farm, it was something that was kind of um, meant that the family were away, there weren't a lot of people around, they were, you know, challenges around farming, around um, weather, around all kinds of things that you know you have to you have to deal with when you live in the country. Um, so the challenges were are just fascinating. We looked at lots of different kinds of farms. Farms where we had organic farms where the cows were always outside, there were intensive cows, uh, farms where the cows are always inside. Mm -hmm. The farm we filmed on they were in and out so they come in for milking and then they go out and in the winter they come in and you know um, so lots of different variations, but the pressures uh, that are put on the farmers, you know, and is fascinating and they've all had to adapt and they're constantly having to adapt and they're constantly having to diversify and have different businesses and do bed and breakfasts and farm shops and, you know, all these kinds of things because it's such a difficult business, you know, they just are really, really, the challenges are enormous and they, they work really hard, but it's also really quite a closed community because I think a lot of people have a lot of opinions and they don't understand what these people are going through. So I think naturally they're very protective and kind of like, look, please stop telling us how to do this, you know? So, you know, for me, it was the combination of all those things that were so important, you know? I think that was, that was why it was essential that it was difficult, a difficult farm. You know, if it was an easy farm that we could all very easily kind of go, oh, isn't farming wonderful? Then, you know, it would have been a totally different film. Yeah. You know, this is, a, this is a farm where they're struggling and, but what are they gonna do? You know, should they just walk away? You know, it's like, it's very easy for people to make decisions about other people's lives. And Clover's relationship with her father was so complex and compelling. What would you say was the key to developing that relationship? I think it was really important where we started. So there was a kind of, where do they start at the beginning? You know, they start just not being able to see eye to eye, just as far apart as possible, really. Um, but, but what was really important was thinking about what that relationship looked like seven years ago for me. It was thinking about what did it look like before, because that is the relationship they both think they're gonna, they're walking back into. So even though she returns much older, she still remembers the guy from seven years ago. So it's like when she's faced with someone who's older, who's, you know, a bit more downtrodden, you know, that throws her immediately, so it sort of starts an investigation, which is what she's she's doing, really. It was, I mean, Clover's kind of drive through the film is trying to find the truth. She's trying to find the truth, whatever that means. And for her, at the beginning, it's, it's about who, you know, what happened to Harry. And why do you think film can be a powerful way of talking about issues? Film is really important, isn't it? Because it allows us, film more than any other medium, I think, allows us to spend time in within the viewpoint of, of, a, of a person. We can see the world through their eyes and spend time with you know, a character who um, may have experienced things that we haven't. And I think uh, films can be incredible machines for empathy. And um, empathy is one of the most important uh, features of any society, I think. So for me, it's a, it can be a real tool for social change. Mm, absolutely, I would agree with that. And I think that, you know, I think people talk about this a lot with horror films, about the idea that you go in and you watch something and because you get to experience it, you get to kind of experience it in a safe space, you know? So it's, so I think that's what's one of the things that's really nice in any of these things where you kind of, kind of think, God, if that was me, you know, what would I do? Or what, am, what are the parallels in my life? And who are the people I'm not talking to? Or who are the people maybe I can see who are like those people? And so I think it, you know, it becomes very personal. Um, something that, you know, as Ellie says, is, is can be a totally a world away and we can all sort of start to, to kind of understand each other a bit more.